everyone, welcome back to my channel, Personalize My Planner. Today I'm going to be sharing how I organize my craft and planner supplies in these cabinets in my craft room. And I'm also going to share a quick and easy IKEA hack. This video is in response to Brooklyn 80's comment about doing an organization video. I'm going to be using the same strategy that I used in previous videos where I break up my hobbies into different categories and then I sort it into either kits, stations, or mobile stations. So let's get started. These cabinets are from Ikea and I replace the knobs with knobs from World Markets. And while these cabinets are mostly decorative, they also hold functional use as well. So in this box, I keep cards that I've made and in the bottom box, tags that I've made. I'm using this shelf to store all of my previous planners. These containers are actually an Ikea hack. So we took these plain white containers and we added these labels from the Martha Stewart collection at Staples and spray painted them gold. We used a pencil to mark where the center of the white container was to act as a guide for placing the gold label. And we also added the labels to binders. In the first box, I have printer stickers. I have my crochet kit, all the yarn and needles that I need. I have my Bible study kit, which I can take out in the morning. And I also included all of the supplies I need for using my laptop. This I'm calling my laptop kit because I have my mouse pad, my power cord, external hard drive, headphones, and mouse so that the cords don't get all tangled. Then we also added these labels to some binders. Here I keep video ideas and keep track of house projects. Down here are all of my paper pads. I've designated this cabinet and part of the cabinet behind me towards paper cutting. So at the top, I have my large paper cutter, which actually folds out. Beneath that, I have old planner projects that I no longer need. You may recognize this fabric cover from a previous video. Things that I wanna keep for memory's sake, but I don't necessarily need to use at the moment. Here I have planner pages. And that means the planners that I'm currently using are stored in this container. So if you saw my previous video, I showed my transformer planner. And I only keep three months at a time in that transformer planner. So that means that the rest of the pages need to go somewhere. And this works so well to store the other three planners that I'm using for that transformer planner. In this small container, I have my Cricut supplies, which is actually in the cabinet behind me, but I'm storing my pens that go with the Cricut in here. I have two art kits in these other small containers. I had a art society subscription, and one of the subscriptions was for watercolor crystals. So I put all of the contents of that kit in here. And then the other kit that I received was for a distress spray. And I put those contents in here. Then down here, I have these scrap of paper holders. And I'm keeping all of the solid colors that I use with my Cricut. So the idea is that both this cabinet and the cabinet behind me are kind of like my Cricut slash paper cutting station. This cabinet is my Cricut station and printer station. So this paper in the back here is just a piece of poster board covered with gift wrap. After measuring the size of the cabinet, 
we cut a piece of poster board to size and because the poster board was a little too short in length we added an extra piece and taped it onto the side then we folded some gift wrap over and adhered it using tape and i also wanted to make sure that there was a place for the cords to pass through so we cut a hole at the very bottom And I'm hiding my Cricut mats underneath more gift wrap up here. Down here, I have my printer as well as a box, which is from Ikea. And it has my ink for my printer and extra printer paper. I hope this video gave you some ideas for organizing your craft and planner supplies. Please do me a huge favor if you found these ideas helpful and share them with anyone who you think may benefit. And I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!